Hey everybody, hey. it's Dana from Chick Flicks Video Marketing with a new episode of Girl Crush. We are in 2018 and I have reformatted Girl Crush. So we are veering away from 20 questions, that fast, punchy, light conversation because I felt like I needed some more. So today I'm talking with Jamie Wedholm from Jamie Wedholm Design. She has graciously accepted the challenge of being my guinea pig for this brand new format. So I want to <laughs> dig a little deeper without making anything uncomfortable. So Jamie, are you ready for, I think I've got six questions, seven questions that I want to ask you today. You ready? I think so. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's start right here. When was the moment you knew you found what you were supposed to do for the rest of your life? Oh, that's easy. Um, I, was eight, I was 18 years old and I went to journalism school. Uh, first, you know, baby out of high school, right? And I thought I could write, but it turns out you kind of have to read the newspaper to know how to write like a journalist. Yeah, I, I wasn't a news, a news girl. And uh, anyways, there was a, there was a graphic design portion in the program. And uh, we laid out the newspaper uh, with the articles and photos that we took. And so I actually really enjoyed that part more than any of the others. <laughs> so then I went on. So that's when I knew I was like, okay, I clearly am not going to be a journalist. <laughs> I like this way better. <laughs> let's, let's form that into something good. So I went on to a publishing program and from there I got uh, jobs in printing and publishing and marketing and graphic design and from there it went. Fantastic. Funny how, uh, how that happens to us, right? You know, like I, yeah. I it, it's not so far from my story. I was in journalism school and ironically hated being in front of the camera and really, mm -hmm. really was fascinated with the whole editing process and piecing things together. So nice. it's kind of funny that that's how I ended up. But now I'm in the cam in front of the camera more than I ever was. So it's interesting how that happens to a lot of us. So my well, next yeah, I, I, I call it a happy accident. It is, right? So yeah. my next question is this. So, you know, every time somebody new encounters us and they find out what we do, they always pepper us with questions about what, what we do, right? Oh, like, how do you, like, what's, you know, what's the best program to use and what kinds of things do I need to be aware of? But here's the question. What is a topic you wish people would ask you about instead of asking you about things relevant to what you do as a graphic designer? Oh, that's a tough one because usually when, when, when I get a referral from somebody, it's for logo design or for web design or, or something, but a single thing. And I really wish they would just ask me what else I do because there's so much more, right? Is, like is I, there, is I, there a topic outside your business that, that you're passionate about that you would love to talk about? Oh, outside of my business. Uh, yeah. Mm. Maybe I wasn't clear on that one. Oh no, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Um, but it, uh, I don't have all the answers, but uh, uh, mental illness, I think, and the anxiety. I think that a lot of people um, guess, they, they guess about it and they, they don't understand it very well. And I suffer from anxiety and, um, and I actually had uh, a bout of depression when I was younger. So, um, I think more people need to ask, you know, well, what did you experience? And like really kind of understand and it's okay. It's okay to ask. And it took me a long time to get there actually <laughs> to be open about it. But um, yeah. That's really it's interesting okay that you say that, that it's okay to ask, right? Because we, if we don't ask, we don't talk about it. 
And the symptoms yeah. for everybody are completely different. So the, yeah. the more candid you are about what you're experiencing, the more likely somebody else will make that connection and think, oh, maybe that's, I've, I have some of that experience too, right? So yeah. for too long, we've, we've kept all our stuff to ourselves and that doesn't work. Well, yeah, because you, uh, it's, uh, we think that there's something wrong with us, right? Um, but there's nothing wrong with us. It's, it's, you know, it, it can be a chemical thing and, and we need, people need to get past that. Um, but there's so many different um, symptoms and people react differently depending on their, their situations. And it just goes to show that we're all we're all still normal. We just have differences, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, anyway, that's a whole okay. other topic. But. What do you wish you did better in your business life? <laughs> uh, bookkeeping. <laughs> I, <laughs> suck at it. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I suck at it. I, uh, I finally hired my bookkeeper last year. Uh, because honestly, my husband wants to do it for me, but I don't want him doing it because then we'll just fight and I'll, he'll piss me off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, I wish I could do it, but I, I don't have the patience for it. And I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a balance sheet girl. I always screw it up and then I spend way more time on it. It's a nightmare. So I think you yeah. could make our balance sheets look pretty. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and engaging, yes. but like the rest is not for, not for us. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so what do you wish you, what do you wish you did better in your personal life? Um, I really want to, uh, be more consistent when it comes to eating better and maybe doing some just wellness all around. Um, you know, you get busy and, and I forget. And then all of a sudden, you know, for a few weeks, I'll feel like crap and wonder why. Well, it's because I'm eating craft dinner. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sleeping six hours a night. So that's actually one of my New Year's. I don't do resolutions, but that's one of my things that I want to do better this year in my personal life is, is just I'll try and be a little more consistent and schedule in yoga and meditation and um, lunch. And lunch. <laughs> That's a tough one. Yeah. That <laughs> is, tough it's one. actually extremely common for um, solo entrepreneurs or people who work from home to not mm -hmm. schedule in a lunch break and just sort of, okay, well we'll eat, absentmindedly while we're doing our work at our desk, huge mistake. So that's my thing this year is to actually like step away from my desk to eat my food so that I, f I I'm hoping what will happen is I'll feel more satisfied rather than like look at the empty bowl and go, where, where to go? Yeah. Plus right. it gives you that break that you need from the screen, yeah. which we, we, we get so caught up in all our stuff and yeah. Yeah. We need that break. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So what's the last great book you read? Uh, I, I'm a bad book reader. Uh, I don't read as often as I should. I need to get off Netflix. That's, that's a good one. But uh, I love Beth Harbison. Uh, the last book I read of hers was uh, uh, The Shoe. What was it? The Shoe Addicts Anonymous. Ooh. Uh, it's a good book. Okay. It's about uh, three different ladies um, in totally different um, walks of life. And they go to this, uh, like, um, a community shoe swap. And they're all shoe addicts. And they become friends and how their lives intertwine. It's, it's, it's funny. And I like light reads and funny reads. Um, the other, the other series I absolutely love because you laugh out loud while you're reading it is the Shopaholic series by who's that? Sophie Kinsella. Yeah. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's a fun read. Perfect, like holiday vacation, uh, freezing cold yes. weather, staying inside kind of read, and to give yes. your brain like a complete break from any kind of thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So next question: What is something that everyone loves that you think is overrated? <sighs> Mushrooms. <laughs> what? I love mushrooms. Oh, yuck. <laughs> you you have a you have a, a you have something against fungus? <laughs> yeah, I got a big thing against fungus. <laughs> you just don't like the taste, the texture, any of it? Oh, the only uh, no, it's just no. I I very rarely will enjoy butter sauteed mushrooms on a steak with lots okay. of pepper and whatever but uh yeah no like the portobello and all these fancy mushrooms that people love so much yuck no not, not <laughs> even like mushroom barley soup ew no <laughs> I, I i don't know if i can i can be friends with you anymore oh <laughs> sorry although I, mean, I, I think i you kinda, know the odd time I kind of already knew this about you because I think we had this conversation and I probably just was like, oh, whatever. I just dismissed it. <laughs> but mushrooms. Yeah. You know what, though? I, I will eat, uh, like, if I'm at a really nice restaurant and they have, like, a cream of mushroom soup that's, I, I actually will eat a mushroom soup. So Because there's not usually, like, lots of pieces of mushrooms in it, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so maybe it's not the flavor, but the the look of the texture. texture. Yeah. Okay, got it. It's I once had yeah. at a hotel in Burnaby, BC, at the Delta Hotel, I'll say it. Uh, in Burnaby, I had a mushroom truffle oil soup that was like the best soup I ever had. It's so memorable. And it was so good. I asked the chef to pack some up for me to take home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. So phenomenal. So just, yeah. I, it was my first time ever having truffle oil and it was so good. Have you ever had truffle oil? Uh, yes, it, it uh, yeah, I've had it. Okay. I, it depends on what it's on. Right. I'm, I'm kind of a picky eater. Like, <laughs> You'll like, get this now. Like French fries. Have you had it on French fries with Parmesan cheese? Oh, honey, I'm uh, going to take it out somewhere. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go. Good. So, all right. So, here's the last thing I need to ask you. Tell me something that nobody else knows about you. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to leave the really, the really secret stuff to my, that's for my husband only. So, <laughs> um, in business, uh, okay. nobody, okay, well, my clients, most of my, most of my clients don't know this, but I have a nasty potty mouth. <laughs> um, but most of my friends know that. Uh, what else? Oh, I thought about this. Um, I, I have an inner hippie. Like really, ever since I was a teenager, uh, I wanted to just live on the island off of Vancouver and scoop ice cream in my hippie clothes and it's all good now. I just, yeah, I just, yeah, I really wanted to be a hippie and just live the simple life uh, until I realized um, I also want to travel and do all these things that make, that need money. Right. So well, being a hippie doesn't doesn't really yeah. My kind of hippie doesn't it it didn't work out that way. Like it I needed to have a job. I hear <laughs> a you. decent job, not an ice scooping job. Yeah, really. I hear you. Yeah. So that's all I have for you today. Oh. Folks, you can check out uh Jamie Wedholm by going to her website, which is what is it? jwedhomedesign.ca so it's j w e d h o l m design.ca okay and folks see that calendar behind her every year jamie designs this fantastic calendar and it's got your 
you added to it this year because last year it was just yes. one of my top three business goals. What's that on the bottom there? Uh, we've got objectives and intentions. So oh. I didn't really want to. Yeah, I didn't really want, it was more of a, it's more of a touchy feely thing this year because it, yeah, because it, um, I'm this year anyways, I'm kind of incorporating more humanity into, yeah, more, more hippie, hippie, I guess. <laughs> yeah. A little touchy feely, a little, That's what's sweet. your intent? Yeah. So. so if you head over to her website, uh, it's a free download that you can get. And uh, she has coupled it up with a mandala coloring page. So if yes. you're one of those people, I'm not, who likes to color and finds it very soothing and calming and allows you to center and focus, please head over to the website. And uh, I'll put the link at the bottom here and go claim your calendar and your coloring sheet. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for having me, Dana.